Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Throne in Liberty video. Well, the season is finally upon us. The brand new spooky event called Haunted Harvest is here and today we're gonna go over all the new event details right here, right now. You know what to do, let go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. We're gonna jump right into it. This is the official event details. Let's start off with the harvest event that will descend upon Silesium on October the 24th through November the 13th. We get to explore an event only dungeon for sweet rewards. Visit villages filled with spooky decoration, Don themed concepts like the Wicked Enchanter or Grin Reaper outfits, grab haunted harvester weapon cosmetics, and more. So we have a whole lot. Let's get started with the event only dungeons. That's right, we're going to get a brand new event only dungeon in pursuit of the giant jack-o'-lantern. You've unknowingly entered a perilous trap with seasonal surprises lurking around every corner. Navigate thrilling obstacles and defeat fiendish pumpkins and devour a candy corn for the chance to receive rewards like cosmetics, food, buffs, RNA coins, and more. You will also receive dimensional pumpkins which can be exchanged for spoils like glassly gourd cosmetics, jack-o'-lantern, Izzy, Amatoy, which is awesome, and the Hollow Knight shapeshift at an event merchant in each village. So let's move on to event villages. Trick or treat at any village to get the most of your haunted harvest experience. Beyond collecting candy corn from various activities, you'll also receive them as a daily login bonus. Don't eat or spend all of your candy at once. You'll also get to greet familiar friends in unique costumes around each village to receive candy corn. Search for characters with hidden haunted harvest forms at night or morph into a playful ghost to identify them during the day for additional candy corn. Locate all three costume characters to receive the Phantom Frank buff, which increases soiling game and increases experience gains as well. Next up, we have Haunted Festivities. Haunted Festivities for the Haunted Harvest influences Silesium in fresh and unexpected ways. Scrumptious culinary creations are waiting to be crafted while large bags of candy corn were accidentally lost amidst a few conquest battles. Rumors has it that the candy ended up in the water and mutated some fish. Your favorite amatoy can also enjoy this event through a limited time expedition bonus. Here's an overview of the festivities. Catch event only fish through Silesium in various 15 minute buffs. Red gummy fish, yellow gummy fish, blue gummy fish will increase movement speed and increase attack speed. And pumpkin taffy increases boss hit rates and damage boost against the undead and demon enemies and damage resistance against undead and demon enemies. Join your fellow adventurers and search for the wandering hunted harvest peddlers to purchase dimensional pumpkins and other event specific rewards. Now once you have the proper ingredients, you can cook these haunted harvest specialties for 15 minute buffs. We have the spooking pumpkin pie that increases mastery gain, increases abyssal consumption efficiency, and, and Chaco a spider cookies which increases critical hit rate and increases critical damage. And you also get to send your favorite Amatoy on expedition for a chance at additional event rewards. Now the Amatoy has an icon over there here to indicate where they will receive a boost. This boost increases the chance to obtain special rewards for Amatoy Expedition. Halloween themed Amatoys, the Jack o' Lantern Izzy and Hexbound Figment, will receive an increased chance of obtaining special rewards enabled regardless of their expedition. Take down your favorite dungeon bosses during an event for a chance to also receive additional cosmetics. Next up, we have the Shop Showcase. Capture the charm of the Haunted Harvest with the Wicked Enchanter Bundle. Grab the Grand Reaper outfit to embody the mischievous nature of the Haunted Harvest and collect the evil Haunted Harvester weapon cosmetics and more through this selection of limited theme shop cosmetics. Preview a few below and see how your character might look wearing this entire collection in game. And last but not least, if you're looking for additional cosmetics, be sure to keep an eye out for the upcoming Phantom Assassin Star Premium Battle Pass to earn the Phantom Assassin's outfit. So boom, there you have it, my dude. It's here. In just a few days, we're gonna get the brand new event and these are all of the details. 
So be prepared, I'll make sure I have a ton of videos coming out to help you as well. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. And don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpal Game, upload a wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.